Are they attending Zoom meetings more often? Are they in front of the computer screen more than five hours a day? I'm finding that I talk to these kids in the office and they tell me, Dr. Ma, I, I, I'm in front of a computer for seven, eight hours a day. Even the adults I talk to, they say, Dr. Ma, I'm in front of a screen 12 hours a day. And so it's the change in our society that's making all these problems worse. Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Mai, and I'm an optometrist. And I'm seeing more kids with poor vision today than I've ever seen them before in my life. I used to see them when they were like in third, fourth grade needing glasses, but now I'm seeing them in kindergarten, first grade even, and they already have poor eyesight. So what's causing this problem? You know, a lot of things, but it's modern society. Our environment is changing these children, it's driving their poor eyesight. More than 40% more kids need glasses today than ever before in the last just 40 years. In 2050, we expect half of the world to have myopia or nearsightedness. So what's causing this problem? We believe it has to do, first of all, with lack of outdoor activity. If your kids are spending less than two hours outside a day, if they're not seeing the sun for more than two hours a day, that's a problem and that's probably going to contribute to poor eyesight. Second thing is we're seeing that kids are spending more time in front of digital devices and screens than ever before. I see these toddlers come in and they're already on the iPad while the, while the, while the parents are doing the eye exam. Kids are sitting on the iPad for, that, you know, for half an hour. And that is also contributing to how nearsighted kids are getting. And the last thing is how often are your kids getting their eyes checked? You know, if you don't diagnose and find a problem early, it just keeps getting worse. And so the goal is for us at Inside Vision Center to meet your children, to see how their vision is, and to come up with a strategy for your child to either stop it before it happens and talk about good behavior, talk about good diet, talk about good environmental cues. Or the last thing is if it does happen, if they already need glasses, to not just prescribe thicker glasses each year, but to actually stop it from getting worse, to actually slow down that progression of nearsightedness of myopia before it gets too high. And so those are things we do at our office. If you're interested in more information for your kids, come visit our office and come learn more at insightvisionoc.com or come call us and schedule an appointment so we can talk about your children and what we can do in their situation, whether it's talking about better environment, better diet, or special lenses and special eye drops we can do to stop them and slow down the progression of myopia. Mm -hmm.